Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is uh, a drug uh, acyclovir. Uh, this is um, a important topic for USMLE step one examination. Uh, recently, we added a playlist uh, on uh, USMLE step one uh, pharmacology. So we are, right now we are covering covering important drugs you should know about for USMLE step one examination. So before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe through Facebook, email, or Twitter account. Okay, uh, so let me start with this, uh, the acyclovir, um, um, a gonosin analog antiviral drug and it is uh, primarily used for the treatment of herpes simplex virus infection as well as in the treatment of varicella, varicella zoster, there is a chicken pox and herpes zoster, there is a shingles. Okay, so acyclovir is poorly water soluble and has poor oral viability, hence the intravenous administration is necessary if high concentrations are required. When orally administered, a peak plasma concentration occurs after 1-2 to two hours. Acyclovir has a high distribution rate. Uh, proteins binding in is reported to range from 9-33%. to 33%. Elimination of half-life of acyclovir is approximately 3 hours. It is renally excreted partly by glomerular filtration and partly by tubular secretion. The poor oral viability may also be improved by administrating, administering uh, valcyclovir, uh, which has oral viability of about 55%. Valcyclovir is then converted to acyclovir by esterases via hepatic first pass metabolism. I'm sorry. Okay. So you know about the mechanism, how it works. It um, This uh, acyclovir is a monophosphorylated by viral uh, thymidine kinase, that is a TK. Uh, then, then further uh, bioactivated by host ca cell kinase to the triphosphate. Okay, so this acyclovir triphosphate is both uh, a substrate for and inhibitor for, for viral DNA polymerase. So this is uh, then when incorporated into DNA molecule acts as a chain terminator because it lacks uh, equivalent of uh, that is a hydroxyl group that is a ribosyl uh, three dash hydroxyl group. Okay, so this is how it acts. Now the indication is indicated for treatment of HSV, VZV uh, infections, uh, genital herpes simplex, uh, herpes simplex labialis, uh, herpes zoster, acute chicken pox, herpes simplex encephalitis, um, acute monomycocutaneous HSV infection, herpes simplex keratitis, herpes simplex blepharitis, uh, prophylaxis against the herpes viruses in immunocompromised patients. Okay. Now the side effects, uh, what you should know, the, um, associated with a systemic acyclovir therapy include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache. In high doses, hallucinations have been reported. Uh, sometimes they can ask you about this, hallucinations, okay. So agitations, vertigo, confusion, dizziness, edema, arthralgia, sore throat, constipation, abdominal pain, hair loss, rash and weakness. Uh, coma, seizures, neutropenia, leukopenia, crystalluria, anorexia, fatigue. Hepatitis, sorry. Stephen Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, anaphylaxis. Okay, additional common adverse effects when acyclovir administered IV include uh, uh, encephalopathy and injection site reaction. Uh, the injection formula is alkaline and the extravasation may cause local tissue pain and irritation. A renal impairment has been reported when acyclovir is given in the large fast dose intravenously due to the crystallization of acyclovir in the kidneys. So these are the uh, things what you should remember about the um, acyclovir. Okay. Uh, so the, the, there are other newer drugs also which I will be uploading together. Okay. So thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.